Hi, this is Max from Dynamixes. In this video, I will guide you through Grabber software. I'll be using the Grabber 2.7 version released in October 2019. Grabber software lets you record and monitor your facial capture with any device, such as a webcam, GoPro, mono or stereo head mounted camera. It also lets you track and retarget in real time with our Live Instant or Live Pro solutions, depending upon the level of fidelity you wish to achieve. After this tutorial, you should be able to record and monitor a video. When you install Grabber software, whether it's from a key file or code meter, you will get to a step asking you to select different components. Check Grabber 3 and documentation boxes. Monitor 3 lets you control and monitor several Grabber remotely. Grabber 3 service will be required if you want to install Grabber on a different onboard recorder with a wireless head-mounted camera. This service will start Grabber remotely. I let it unchecked for now. I click on install and wait for it to finish. Then I will start Grabber. When you open Grabber software, you'll see a camera feedback on the right with the timecode set to local time, running below and different sections on the left panel to set up your inputs and outputs. The documentation of Grabber can be accessed via the help menu by clicking on the open documentation link. The documentation will open in a browser. You can also check your version information by clicking on the About Grabber 3 link. We'll look at the settings on the left. I'll go ahead and select Camera as a source. For now, I will be using a camera from our HMC. I'll select one single camera as a layout. I then select the device. I see the computer webcam and another ID, which is a Dynamics' current reference camera. I select it and now I see the video feedback. We recommend that you connect your HMC using a port located at the back on your computer to have a better connectivity. You can now choose the resolution and FPS of the camera. I will select 60 frames per second. You can rotate and flip the image. Under the light line, you can adjust settings that are related to the camera, exposure and gain. I will then select the microphone as a source. If you own a high quality audio card that supports it, choosing 24 bits will lead to a better audio quality. You can check the audio signal to this little bar here. You can adjust the monitoring level by playing with the cursor. The timecode is set by default to free run, meaning it is using your computer time. You can decide to manage it with a timecode generator, device emitting or audio signal that will let you sync different mockup systems. The device will specify a dedicated timecode. There are several timecode generators available on the market, such as Tentacle Sync, for example. You can select the dedicated sound card as the audio input and it will sync the new timecode. We will finally set up the audio output settings starting with the name of the take. We will use a pattern path so that it will increment a list of videos. By clicking on the little wheel, you can edit the pattern and specify information such as the date, the time recording start. You can also set the counter value at the beginning. This is the structure of the name. Pattern test will let you test and see the result if you decide to change the default pattern. We'll select the destination folder where we want to save our video. Files will be recorded in the .move format. We also provide a more advanced feature to change encoding properties using the little wheel here. Hardware acceleration will let you encode the video quicker and use the less resources on your CPU. This is going to be helpful if you try to record high-resolution videos or if you record and track in real time. To know more about that option, check the computer requirement under the Help section of the menu, Open Documentation, Grabber 3 menu, Advanced Usage and H.264 configuration. It's now time to record. I'll go ahead and click on the big red button. You'll see the blue counter. 
Recording counter gets activated. I click on stop. To check my video, I can open my destination folder with a shortcut here, or open it in VLC by clicking on the name of the video here. We'll look at the different menus in the toolbar now. The tracker section will be explained in the live tracking tutorial. For now, we'll look at the network triggered client options. Grabber can receive signals from external applications, such as start or stop recording. If you are using a body mocap system, such as Vicon Blade, OptiTrack Motive, Shogun, Motion Analysis Cortex, or Xsense MVN, you can use these options to synchronize it with Grabber. The View section lets you either check logs or select which section you want to display in the viewport. Tools gives you some general options, like for instance, the video playback settings. And finally, the Help section lets you check for updates or find information about Grabber. And again, access the documentation. You're now ready to record your first range of motion or one of your performance session. If you want to deepen your knowledge on Grabber, you can move forward to our Live Tracking with Grabber tutorial.